again, let's evaluate the value of the six trigonometric functions of theta, which is equal to 330 uh, degrees. So first, I, first, let's identify the reference angle. Oh, pretty obvious. What's the reference angle for this one? Let's call on um, ABCD. Okay, very good. So we have 30 degrees here. Oh, anong coordinates kapag 30 degrees? Let's have Jethro. Anong coordinates ng 30 degrees? Jethro, are you there? So uh, one half po. Okay, good. Square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay, so x and y signs. This is in quadrant 1, di ba? Uh, what will be the signs for this? Ethan. Quadrant 1 siya. So, no signs natin? We have... Again... Okay, all. So, that means all are positive. Very good. So, all are positive. Next. Ay, X and Y values. Ito pa lang pala siya sa ilalim. Hindi ko napansin yun. <laughs> let's remove that. And then, let's just write it. X will be square root of 3 over 2. And then, Y is 1 half. Trigo functions. Let's begin with cosine. Cosine is your X coordinate. So, cosine theta, cosine 30 degrees is... Let's just get your x coordinate. Square root of 3 over 2. You could also do this in your calculator. Next, sine 30 degrees. So that's your y coordinate. Sine 30 is 1 half. So sunod. Tangent 30 degrees. So that is y over x. y over x. You'll have 1 half all over square root of 3 over 2. If you have your calculator, you should just type it directly na tangent 30 degrees and you'll get the answer already. Ay, it is in fraction. So, let me change that. Of course, it's in fraction. I am not in degree. I forgot to change it. Okay. So, you get square root of 3 over 3. How will you get that if you are using manual? Cancel, cancel. You'll get 1 over the square root of 3. And then, rationalize. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Ang haba ng process. Rationalize, you'll get square root of 3 over 3. Next. Um, after cosine, the reciprocal of cosine is second. So, second 30 degrees tayo. Get the reciprocal of this. So, babalik ta rin mo. 2 over square root of 3. Eh, syempre, bawal naman ang... May radical sa denominator. So, rationalize ulit tayo. You'll get, for second 30, it is 2 square root of 3 all over 3. If you do that in your calculator, you just type 1 over cosine 30. Don't forget your close parenthesis. Kung hindi, magsisintax error yan. Itong close parenthesis na to. Press equals and you'll get 2 square root of 3 all over 3. Okay. Look ah, kung hindi ko nilagyan ng close parenthesis. So then, syntax error. Perfect, ba? Kaya, maglagay kayo ng close parenthesis sa denominator nyo. And you'll get 2 square root of 3 over 3. Let's continue. If we get the reciprocal of sine 30, so that is cosecant, cosecant 30. Cosecant 30. This is 1 over x. This is 1 over y. So we have the reciprocal of 1 half. Balik tarin mo, you'll get 2 over 1 or simply 2. And then last would be the cotangent. Cotangent 30 degrees. You have y, uh, x over y. So we'll have square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 half. Cancel, cancel. You're left with square root of 3 over 1 or simply square root of 3. Now let's type that in your calculator. Um, cotangent. So we will type tangent. 1 over tangent 30 and you'll get square root of 3. Ta -bam. If you have your calculators, you will be able to do this quickly. If you have your manual method, this is how you would do it. You have now your cosine. 
Air shine. Tangent. Second. Cosecant. And cotangent. You have six values. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I never made it, but I know I 